Before I create an ellipse, I want to draw a circle because the ellipse is actually is from a circle. So I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to draw a diagonal line connecting the corners. I'm bisecting the square into four quadrants. Here the circle and the square are in tangent and I am showing all the axes. an ellipse, I am drawing a parallel drawing of a square using an angle. Here I'm using a 45 degree angle to create a parallel or image of a square. The four center method of drawing an ellipse it uses two sets of radii and a compass or a circle template. So from the midpoint of the sides of the square in the parallel view, we extend perpendiculars until they intersect. From the midpoint, we draw a perpendicular line from side of the square to intersect the major or the minor axis. With the four points of intersection as centers and with two radii, we describe two sets of arcs in equal pairs between the origin points of the perpendiculars. You can use a compass or a circle template to create the arc. When using a circle template, Pay close attention to where the radii is. This ellipse, I am using a 30 degree angle. Like the previous ellipse, I am drawing a line from the midpoint of the parallel square to intersect with the major and the minor axis. And with that, I created four radii and from the radii, I can start to draw arcs to create the ellipse. This last one here is done in 15 degree angle. Like before, I'm drawing the major and minor axis. Like the two other ellipse, to find where the radii is, I am drawing a perpendicular line from the midpoint of the parallel square.
compass, drawing arcs from where you create the four radii. Well, there you have it. You have three ellipses created by three different angles. Music